in the heart of my small garden. Bathed in the gentle warmth of the morning sun, I found myself in the moment of contemplation. I have an idea. Even though I don't have all my art tools here with me, I have decided to create something with whatever is available at the moment. Aged pieces of wood whisper the tales of the past. I couldn't resist the urge to breathe life onto the weathered pieces. Engaging in the alchemy of creativity isn't merely a pursuit of aesthetic satisfaction. It is a profound journey that nourishes the soul and elevates the spirit. In the act of transforming aged wood in the canvas of swan-like serenity, I realized that the endeavor to keep one's mind immersed in actions are meant to reveal a secret garden within. The act of creation becomes a form of meditation, a space where the noise of the world fades away and the whispers of intuition and imagination grow louder. Art in its myriad forms becomes a vessel through which we navigate the depths of our emotions and thoughts. It transcends the limitations of spoken language, offering a channel to express the ineffable and connect with the profound aspects of our existence. As I reveled in the process, I found that creativity is a catalyst for spiritual advancement. It invites introspection, encourages self-discovery, and foster a sense of connection with the great tapestry of existence. The act of creation becomes a form of communion with God, waving our history in the rich fabric of humanity. This enamel is definitely not my favorite medium to make paintings, but as long as we desire, we can create art with anything and find inner peace in the simple things of life. In the quietude of my cottage, I have learned that creativity isn't just a pastime, it's a pilgrimage to self-awareness and spiritual growth. Through the artistry of the mind and expression of the soul, we embark on a transformative journey, painting not just images, but layers of meaning to the canvas of our lives. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will read all the comments. Hare Krishna.